Hey everyone, welcome back to Bamboo Batu. Today we have a hot topic. We are discussing bamboo charcoal and bamboo biochar. Bamboo biochar is a super interesting, super hot topic right now. A lot of people are talking about it for a lot of reasons. And if you don't know what it is, you can read all about it on the internet or you can check out this uh, 10 minute video. So bamboo, as we know, is a beautiful plant with uh, some incredible uses. Uh, you can make furniture, you can make clothing, you can make kitchenwares, you can make paper, you can make lots of things. And one of the products that can be made from bamboo is charcoal. Now, charcoal is maybe not that exciting in itself, but when you think about the trees that are being cut down to make charcoal, it's not the best use of wood. Uh, in many parts of the world, they actually depend on charcoal pretty heavily for heating and cooking. And so they're cutting down huge forests, especially in Africa and Asia. And just to, just to cook that, that wood down and make it into charcoal. And as we know, bamboo grows so much faster than ordinary trees. Once you have a well-established bamboo grove, you can harvest it, uh, annually. And if you're making charcoal, it just makes a lot more sense to be cutting down something that renews itself rather than cutting down these, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 year old trees just to make charcoal that you're going to, that you're going to throw in the furnace or throw in the stove. So bamboo is, is an excellent alternative to that. And there's charcoal and there's biochar. They're two very similar things, but very different uses. Um, we're probably all familiar with charcoal. You can put it in the barbecue. Uh, and like I said, many parts of the world, they use it to heat their homes. They use it for cooking in the kitchens in the United States. Mostly it's used in, in barbecuing and such, but biochar is very similar. It's made in a similar process of paralysis. They, they cook the wood down with, uh, they deprive it of oxygen as it burns. So it's cooked down to this uh, light, brittle material which can then be burnt again in, in a, in a furnace or a barbecue. And so biochar is very similar to that, but it's usually in a, in a powdered form and it's an excellent soil additive. So the thing about charcoal or biochar is that it is excellent to mix into your soil. And first you need to mix it with some compost to activate it. So activating the biochar. Uh, you mix, uh, approximately one part compost with two or three parts biochar, and it not only helps your compost metabolize more quickly, so you can use it within maybe a month instead of waiting six months or a year. And not only that, but it just adds so much to the soil. It attracts beneficial microbes and microorganisms and it helps the soil retain water and moisture. And if you're dealing with degraded soil that's been over farmed or polluted or something else, the, the biochar is, is just an excellent remedy. Um, a few applications of it, um, in the first, in the first year and the results, the results are amazing. I uh, hear, I get comments and, and letters and emails from people all the time, um, uh, expressing their, their amazement and and uh, incredulity over the uh, amazing properties of of uh, biochar and so it's it's commonly made from wood from trees but again the burning trees to make to make biochar or charcoal is just not that practical and it's not very responsible use of resources and bamboo is a excellent way to do that uh, excellent alternative to cutting down trees and also the biochar made from bamboo somehow has, has greater surface area. There's more, there's more pockets and grooves and notches in there. And so that extra, that extra texture, that extra surface area makes it very uh, attractive to, to microorganisms, which are the, the main benefit of, of adding one of the main benefits of adding the biochar to the soil. So you get more of those benefits. Uh, with bamboo biochar. So super interesting additive. Uh, it reduces the need for other, other fertilizers, commercial fertilizers, chemical fertilizers, and with a healthy, healthy soil, you're also going to reduce the need for, 
for um, pesticides and such because the, the plants are going to be healthier, the soil is healthier, you just have a more balanced setup, more balanced ecosystem where your plants and, and garden won't be uh, so susceptible to, to pests and diseases and, and other issues that you might run into if you're in gardening or, or farming. It can be done on a large scale on a farm or a small scale just in, in a small garden. And the next thing about biochar that's really interesting, um, carbon credits. Everybody's talking about carbon credits right now. If you're not familiar with carbon credits system, very briefly, that is a system where we have companies, corporations that are gross polluters that are emitting massive quantities of pollution. And because of different mandates and requirements, international treaties, these companies are trying to reduce their emissions, trying to achieve carbon neutrality, trying to, trying to reduce, trying to emit fewer greenhouse gases. And in some cases, it's not possible for them to adapt quickly enough to meet those, those emissions reduction goals. And so instead of reducing their own emissions, they're supporting other projects that have reduced emissions. And basically those, those emission reducing products pro projects can generate credits. So if you're growing a, um, you know, hundreds of acres, thousands of acres of bamboo, that bamboo is sequestering carbon into the soil. And so you have a carbon negative project and you can generate carbon credits and then you sell those credits to a company who's emitting too much CO2, too many greenhouse gases. And those companies, because they can't meet the goals themselves, they, they pay another pay to support another project, which is reducing. And so that balances out their carbon, uh, emissions balances out the spreadsheet for them, the balance sheet. And it also gives a great incentive to projects that are, that are carbon negative projects that are capturing CO2 out of the atmosphere and biochar and bamboo farming are a couple ways that CO2 is, is sequestered. So if, if you create that biochar, it's going to be about 80 to 90% carbon. You end up with about one and a half to two tons of CO2 per ton of biochar. It's kind of amazing how that works out. Um, again, you know, say you produce one ton of biochar and in that biochar, you have 1.7, maybe one and a half to two tons of CO2. And for every ton of CO2, you earn one carbon credit. And then that carbon credit is worth anywhere from a hundred to 200, $250. It really depends, uh, on the details of the project and why, why the company is buying those carbon credits, but it can be a very lucrative, um, a lucrative project, a lucrative way to, to make money, um, on the bamboo project. So you can still use your biochar. You can sell your biochar even. And on top of all those benefits, the, um, the carbon credits are just one, one extra, one extra way to, to make a little money on that. So it's a great idea if you're producing biochar at a large scale, say, you know, a thousand tons per year, 2000 tons per year, you can definitely make it worthwhile to get certified and registered to earn carbon credits on that biochar. And at the same time, you're helping, helping the atmosphere, uh, drawing CO2 out of the atmosphere, burying it underground and really improving the soil, getting higher yields from your crops and having healthier topsoil with more, more microorganisms. And it's a great, great concept all the way around. So bamboo and biochar, something worth looking into. If you're not already familiar with it, one more way to green the earth with bamboo. Hope you enjoyed learning about that. If you have questions, comments, suggestions for future topics, let us know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you want to. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. But if you do, subscribe. No pressure. We're easy. We're relaxed. It's casual. 
Have a great day. See you next time.